stop him. We will allow him to pass. But after this incident, we have also stopped listed him again. The EFCC uh, issued a warrant of arrest. We have stopped listed him. We have blocked his Nigerian password, which means he cannot reissue that password anywhere in our branches in Nigeria or abroad, and he cannot pass through our recognized border. That's the situation, Honorable Chair. General, please respond to the question. Mr. Chairman, among the correspondents that could be of interest in answer to a question asked as to what prompted the Office of the Attorney General to kick start or to make inquiries relating to the reinstatement of minor, I want to refer you to Annex 1 in support of my principal submission, which is a letter dated 9th February 2017 uh, from Restoration Chambers on Yema and Co. Solicitors to Bashir Minor. So that letter indeed, among others, kick-started the process of making necessary inquiries with a view to arrive at a decision one way or the other. Uh, relating to the issue of interpretation, which was said to have uh, been arrived at by my office, I think that amounts to jumping the gun, because as I stated earlier, there was no conclusive interpretation of the judgment in support of Annex 1 arising from the fact that it was a work in progress. On the issue of um, the line officer, what steps, if any, have been taken, I stated earlier that when this controversy arose, I instructed the permanent secretary, taking into consideration my earlier KIV of a letter dated 5th October, that they should initiate process to now unravel what truly transpired, if indeed those letters have actually emanated from Federal Ministry of Justice, what indeed transpired. So it is, I think, uh, premature for me to own off to a conclusion that those letters indeed emanated from the Office of the Attorney General without a final report of that committee put in place to look into the circumstances within the bureaucratic cycle in the Ministry of Justice. Thank you. Honorable Attorney General, just a follow-up to that one. Uh, when can we get a report from you concerning that process? When it is concluded through bureau bureaucratic process, but I assure you I can ask them to expedite action over it. Thank I, you. I believe this is very important and germane to the whole process of this investigation you are always determining who authored that letter. Comes in from my office. I cannot clearly on off to those letters emanating from my office as it is now until after the conclusion of the investigation. So I think it's, um, it amounts to a premature conclusion for that conclusion now to have been taken by the committee that it, the letters indeed emanated from my office. Honorable Attorney General, we are not insinuating that it emanates from your office, but from all the evidences we've gotten from you the last time we were here, what you said was that they might not have genuinely, I use that word well, they might not have genuinely, if somebody tells me something might not have genuinely emanated from me, in essence, what I'm saying, it might come from me, but it might have been pecked. So that is why we are very concerned about that process. And time is of essence. This committee has a time limit. That is why we have decided we are not going into any other thing. We are given a mandate, and we will do this mandate very quickly and report back to the House. So please, whatever you are doing, whatever you are investigating, do it very fast and send us a report within a week. In ask the hold on please the uh, solicitor of Abdul Rashid Maina he has made more submissions to this committee if he has anything to say
Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, uh, Attorney General, can we confirm if your SA, Mr. Kende, is here with you? That's Mr. Guinea Kende. He's not here. We want to see him, Mr. Chairman. Please, I will apply that all the assistants, particularly the two of them, Mr. Ogini and... Uh, is the same one? I think there are Thank two. You. Mr. Kende Ogini and the second assistant in the office of the Attorney General that uh, was also involved be summoned to appear before the committee and testify on oath before us, sir. So, sorry, uh, honorable member, who is the second assistant you are making reference to specifically? I, I think he is the only one I made reference to in the letter. But then the honorable member is, make, is alluding to two or more. So, okay. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, I earlier on had indicated desire to effect mild corrections on dates. And I think it's. Yes. The chairman, I'm sorry. Mrs. Narutu Batagarawa. Very well. That is not uh, an officer in the office of the Attorney General. Okay. Uh, page one of my addendum, Mr. Chairman. The last paragraph of page one. Yes. The date there. Second line of the last paragraph is 5th October and not 15th. So the one should go. And then page 3, Mr. Chairman, paragraph 6 of page 3. The date there after KIV is 6-10-2017 uh, and not 19-5, please. Yes, please. Thank you. You were addressing it to the Senate chairman, not House committee. Yes, so since you are correcting your errors, I think you should... Uh, uh, it's noted, uh, Mr. Chairman. I have done it. I will make a substitution of the page and uh, I amend it accordingly. Very sorry, everyone. Do you have anything to add to your submission? Just in a very few minutes to take you through some uh, striking features of the memorandum of the Don't mind. We'll write. We'll write. of the further particulars, so to say. Just to take you through through some silent features of the further facts. No, we have the... we are have your if we are don't have any public for the public to us. Since we can move public, ahead. Yes, since it's a public hearing and we had some other comments here and there, we could just bring them in in just a very short moment no. with the view of assisting the, 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 the panel. So, okay, be very brief, please. Very brief, sir. Sir, yeah, Mr. Chairman and uh, honorable members of this panel, we submitted an addendum which we refer to as further relevant particulars dated 27 November 2017. The particulars is premised on the questions that, were, that, that was asked by one of the committee members, where she specifically asked us whether his minor dismissed, and she went further to say whether he is receiving salaries. And uh, I know it will be on record that we have our responses. And uh, in furtherance to which some press carried that uh, they said, uh, what do you call it, minor is receiving salaries, and it was refuted this morning. Now, from the content of our further particulars, Mr. Chairman, sir, we made mention that Mr. Abrashid Minor filed a suit against the federal government of Nigeria on the 4th of February 2017. 4th February 2013. The dates are very, very important. Now, during the subsistence of this suit, he was queried on the 15th of February 2013. After being queried, he was given three days, 72 hours within which to, within which to respond. 
His cancer.